What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bass Ninja. My name is Matt. Uh, we got a pretty exciting day today. Um, I got a new bait casting reel um, that just hit the mailbox. I'm super pumped to show you guys and to try it out. It is a Daiwa Tatula 100 HS in the lefty. Um, this is my first nice bait casting reel, so I'm pumped to try it out, pumped to get on the water with it. And we're gonna do a quick unboxing today just to show you guys what it looks like, point out a couple of the cool features on it, and then probably at a later date, uh, maybe in like a week or so, um, once I spent some time with the reel, I'm gonna post like a full review of you know, see the rod in action, um, the different function, those kind of things too. But for today, I thought it'd be fun just to show the unboxing and to share it with you guys too. So enjoy. All right, you guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and bust into this thing. Boom. It's our nice Daiwa box. Tula 100HS. And we got it in the lefty. It's pretty nice. Get a little bit of info about the reel on the back. 7-1 gear ratio, which is great. This one's featuring the seven ball roller. Um, they give you some indicators here for what kind of line and stuff like that you can run. For this one, I'm probably gonna be running 30 pound braid um, with a mono or fluoro leader. So yeah, there's our box. Let's open her up and see what we got. Okay, so there's our reel. Set that out. So we got a little operating manual here. Nice. Pretty cool. We don't need no instructions where we're going. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing out of the packaging, see how it looks. Um, like I said, bought this from a seller on Facebook uh, Marketplace. Um, so there we go. Nice, a real nice and smooth. Let's see how she sounds. Oh yeah. Very nice. One of the things I like about these, if you watch the guide when I click it down, it kind of pops out a little bit for that line release. Got the little TWS emblem on there, if you guys can see. Um, locks her back in, pops back down. That's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of, you know, marking here and there on like the paint job, but honestly, this thing's in great condition overall. Um, there's one of our drag settings, back section. What I really like is this side part um, around this. They've got their little, uh, little Daiwa emblem on here. So that's pretty cool. Again, 7-1, the 100. Um, this right here is like a little bit of electrical tape that he put. Looks like he's got some mono on here. So that's cool. Left me some line on there. Appreciate that, man. And I got it from the front. Got our Daiwa emblem on there. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks great. Feels really good. Um, I might end up replacing these just for clout, to be honest, just for it to look like a little bit better. And we got our normal little drag adjuster for the bait casting reels on the side. Um, so I paid $75 for this reel. Um, normally I think these go for around $130, $150 range for this reel. Um, I spoke with the seller and he was kind of just telling me like, yeah, he's had it for a while, but he's kept it in good shape. I mean, it looks to be in good shape. It doesn't look that beat. It's got a couple spots on it here and there that, you know, look a little rough on the finish, but it's honestly no big deal. As long as it works properly and everything's good, you know, I'll be happy. So um, we're gonna be pairing this up with a Abu Garcia, uh, medium heavy uh, rod. It's just what I have right now. I'm about to get that rod from one of my friends. Um, he doesn't have a use for it anymore. And um, I wanted to get a, a new rod anyway for this. So it's gonna work out great. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the unboxing. It looks great. Um, comes with that little manual. Um, die with stuff anybody who has it for these like uh tatulas and those kind of things it's it's a really great reel um so i'm super pumped to try it out and uh definitely get on some fish with it too so thank you guys for watching um, i'm gonna post like a review video um sometime soon um showing the action how it works on the rod with different kinds of things and stuff like that. Um, right now it looks like we got some mono on here. I'm probably gonna swap this for braid just because I like to use a lot of braid. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And there is the Daiwa Tatula 100 HSL.